Boss man. Hey, hey, yeah. There's the whole hand thing. Yes. <laughs> Bam. Working, working. Right at ya. <clears throat> like a glove. Not a good day for Tammy. Not good reading. I'm going to be honest with you, Tammy. Mr T. Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Well, what's going on? What is going on? You know? I thought we knew each other. You know? I thought stand-up guy, Tammy, trustworthy. Not very, as it turns out. I don't think I can harbour a person like you in this office anymore. What do you mean, like me? <sighs> Yesterday, shared lunch, right? We all had to put money in. Conveniently, Tammy doesn't have any money. And, uh, boy, did I get a pie? No way, Jose. That's a sign of a thief. And can I have a thief in this building, on this show? This is not Police 10-7, mate. I've never been on Police 10-7 before. They've never asked me. You look like you did. Anyways, Tammy, I think the tribe has spoken on this one. No more talking, talking, you're the best, you're Mr T, I think. I think you want to complete my sentence. You want to... Yeah, I'm not going to give you the gratification of firing me, you fat bastard. I'm qu I quit, all right? Stick this job up. Oh, I don't want to see that. You're disgusting. Kiss my ass, Kirby. Thank you, Kirby, Kirby. I don't know what your fucking name is. Fucking asshole. Awkward. It's hard, it's hard being the president, it really is, you know. That is a tough job, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm reading off my cue cards now. Please welcome comedian, TV star, radio announcer and member of the Ratahi Golf Club, Mr Mike King, everybody. Yeah! Okay. Thank, you, Thank you so much nice for joining us. Cool. And nice to give you some TV time, you know. Well, it's good. Yeah. It's good. How's Even it feeling though it's very you? late. It is. It is. Way <laughs> past my bedtime. It's only just TV time. <laughs> what now will be up shortly, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Mike, uh, thanks for joining us. Comedian, um, radio announcer. You're bloody good on the radio. Thank you. Yeah. How Thank did you, you get that radio show? Uh, pity. What? That Willie, works. <laughs> Willie, Jackson, uh, Willie Jackson made Radio Live give me the job. Okay. And they've been regretting it ever since. <laughs> and you've got a you've got a late night slot. When is that on a Radio Live, isn't it? Yep. Nutters yeah. Club, eight to twelve on Sundays. Nutters Club. The yeah. Nutters Club. You better explain. I know what the show's about. Better explain what the Nutters Club. To these the Nutters Club is a mental health program looking after people with uh, drug, alcohol issues, uh, all kinds of <laughs> mental health issues, um, all all the stuff that I've been through. And looking in your eyes, a few of you could be my clients. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nervous laugh. It's a nervous <laughs> laugh point. Yeah, I see, bro, I see. <laughs> He's addicted. Usually it's the ones who point. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the radio, though, I mean, have you, have you brought your son on? He's a muser. We, we, we know him well. Uh, his music plays at the beginning of the, uh, the show. He's over in L.A. at the moment. Uh, okay. The man trying to chase his dreams, but... Man, dirty sesh. What kind of a, I, say, I keep telling him, my son, <laughs> no, no one is going to buy an album by Dirty Sesh. <laughs> Change your name to Justin. <laughs> Justin Aaron, anything. Justin yeah. Sells. Yeah. Just in case. That's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> Change your name. And uh, is doing much with the, the comedian circuit? You're back out there making people laugh? That's all I do, brother. Yeah. Uh, except uh, I don't do much of it around New Zealand because New Zealand has got no money. So we're overseas quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I've been in South Africa this year. I've been to Afghanistan twice. Just come back from West Australia where all the happy Maldives are. You've yeah, been there? Got money yeah. there? Happy with Maldives, bro. With, <laughs> with, Afghanistan, <laughs> with Afghanistan, does the, 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 the humour translate for what you're doing here on a, like a West Auckland stage to Afghanistan? People laughing still. Yep. Cool. Yep, everywhere. Mainly because uh, the Kiwis. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but no, they're really cool. I, I really admire those young people and mm. what they're doing. Yeah. Let's not forget, most of them are about the same age as, as your host. Yeah, me. Uh, and what's it like over there? I mean, I've never been. I've seen some YouTube video and news footage, but what are we what are we staring wicked. down there? It's it? wicked, bro. I, I watched the YouTube um, of, of some of your uh, stuff over there. Yep. Um, and. Uh, I watched a very awkward moment of you on stage trying to make the U.S. Army laugh. Yeah, it was a, well, it was an awkward moment. They're I really was, dry balls, aren't they? Well, well, they've had a lot of people killed, so they've got no sense of humour. And, <laughs> and I was talking about the Afghani people, and this guy just, you know, I said, I really like the Afghani people. They're assholes! And I'm like, hey, 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 yeah. dude, you know, you do know you're here to protect them. <laughs> and he just went... They're still assholes! <laughs> okay, let's move on. It was a very awkward moment. Well, it was an awkward moment because I wanted to get into him like you normally would, but, but he, he had a gun. 
Yeah. <laughs> so. They're big, kind of just robotic, nervous, Nelly type yep. guys who are just programmed to go out there and Well, you've got to remember that America have been taught that the rest of the world's the enemy. Right. In their own country, they're the most beautiful, loving people you'll ever get. Yeah. Outside their country, they're nervous of everybody. That's why I moved away. Yeah. yeah. In, in this country, we've got a guy called Kenny, and uh, he is like our Asian reporter, very pro Māori, and here's another taste of his goodness. Kia ora, kaukini tāko ingoa. That is my favourite part of the show now. Give him a round yes. of applause. He is Go Kenny. flying that flag. It makes me hungry for yum cha. I think we should get some Chinese after this. What do you reckon? <laughs> my shout. President. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's talk um, more uh, about um, y yourself and, um, and 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 what's coming up for you. Brother, I'm uh, just uh, going to be carrying on doing what I do in mental health, helping helping other people uh, who can't help themselves. Mm. And uh, moving forward, I've got a uh, charitable trust that I started. So. Um, Mainly, mainly in that area now. Because you've taken things very personally, um, well, opened up your whole life to to your depression. Is that mm -hmm. tough? Do people come up and go, "Hey, nutter Mike," or, or do people fear you? No, no, they, that's, their that's attitudes cool. changed. No, well, my biggest fear was that people would find out that I was nuts, right. that, that I had a problem. Um, <laughs> the, the, the best way, like I now know what it's like to be a gay man. I'm not a gay man, but right. I know what it's like to be a gay man holding that in and then finally coming out and telling him, hey, I'm gay. And the whole family goes, yeah, we, we know dropkick. <laughs> so it was the same for me. I came out and said, oh, I'm yeah. nuts. And he went, oh, God, thank God you know. Yeah. What was that yeah. moment for you, Mike? Well, how, how did you know? Uh, I was sitting in a hotel room uh, in Hong Kong in 2007 on March 31st with a mountain of cocaine and uh, hookers for Africa. Here it's well, good no stuff. hookers, just cocaine. <laughs> just, okay. He's married, man. So, no. no, no, just, just uh, and, and 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 deciding under uh, I didn't want to go on. You know, I'd had enough, and uh, that was the turning point for me. Uh, fortunately, uh, I made it through that and uh, made it through the, the cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a huge constitution. <laughs> but that was the last time I picked up in touch, and uh, I fell out of a train ba uh, plane back in New Zealand and uh, just hit the hit the um, hit the sober highway. Good for Did you, you ever ever? Contemplate in your mind bringing any of that back on the plane. Never. Never. You didn't I, want to be on board well, here's, here's, here's how ridiculous it was. Here's how much I actually started a travel agency in 2000 so I could fly anywhere in the world and hole up in hotels anywhere in the world. That's that's how committed I was to it. It's just been it's smart, smart for <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not smart. So, any kids out there, it is not smart, children. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to move on. Nice talking to you guys. Great questions. The burning quick fire interview. That was sarcastic, wasn't it? Sorry. Insensitive. It's a real art form. Add the Māori language to that. Expect a masterpiece. Here's uh, the Mile High Club with fitness expert Tara, who's Shane Cameron's partner. So this should be quite pleasant looking. Okay, <laughs> A kua kite kui o mātua e uh, moitahi ana? Ka rea no, a kite kite i a rau e mahi pera ana, ka hakoi. <laughs> Me haere a hau ki te noho ki tā wahi. <laughs> ka rea kōrero ki a rau te wāroa, ne? Ai, um, heha te tūranga pai ake ki a koe. Uh, mihi nare, kuri kuri dāne. Uh, ki a hau, ko te kuri kuri. Ne? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ki roto i te um, waka ki te ihu dāne? Uh, ki te ihu. Ai, uh, i te ata, i te pō dāne? Mm, 